Hey, what's up guys? This is Bryce Van Hoosen, and today we've got a big old box to open. We're checking out the brand new Jackson RR24FRH concept series, which is in this box and needs to be uh, unearthed, extubated. Uh, something like that. So let's do that. But before I get this bad boy open, I did just want to let everybody know that yes, Jackson did send me this guitar. No, they're not seeing this video before I post it. And no, they have not influenced my thoughts about it in any way. But as you guys should know, I'm a total Jackson freak. So uh, pardon me if I uh, get a little too excited about this thing. Okay, with that being said, let's go ahead and open it up. Yeah, unboxing stuff on camera. Always a little bit awkward. Get that big ass box out of here. Cool, get this black sort of little anti-static sheet. All right, softcore Jackson case here. Yeah, buddy, check that out. All right, where's the zipper? Now for the moment of truth here. All right, got some cool little case candy here. Okay, I actually leave all that stuff in and I am gonna go handheld. So let's do that now. <laughs> handheld, I really do enjoy these cases. All right, so here we go. Inside the case, we got the guitar in the burial shroud, as is tradition here. Um, a couple extra little case goodies. We got a strap if I wanted to wear this thing as a backpack. That's awesome. Uh, strap locks, those are cool. That's nice. Focus on that there. Very cool. Got the owner's manual, which will tell me how to play guitar. Always helpful to know. And then the bar and some additional springs. Looks like truss rod, wrench. All right, cool. Everything you need for the Floyd Rose. Awesome. Sweet. So let's see here. I gotta get this burial shroud off of here. This is rough doing it with one hand. I'm gonna pull this thing out here. Ooh, that's gonna fall. All right, repositioning. Cool, there we go. You know, I assume that they put these things on here for some sort of static electricity kind of reason. This is always my favorite part of uh, unboxing a new guitar. The removal of the burial shroud. All right, and here we go. In all of its glory. Look at that, all right. Cool, man, look at that. Ebony fretboard, with cool perloid inlays. Oof, a body, nice. Ooh, those wings, looking good. No damage in transit, that's great. Always like to see that. Cool, and then we got the uh, top mounted gold floyd rose 1000 got a single volume emg 81 and a uh mg afterburner which i've never used so that should be pretty cool lumen lay inlays on the side here man it looks great you know nothing got damaged there's a little bit of weight to this thing as well nothing got damaged in uh, transit so that's Always a good sign. All right, here's the back. Very shiny, nice and shiny. Made in Korea as the new uh, concept series is. Ooh, look at these, uh, these tuning machine heads are a little bit different. They don't have the normal, uh, whatever little part that screws in on the back here. So that's, that's interesting. Now 
And uh, there we go. Unboxing complete. Yeah, this is a, a fine looking guitar. Guys, here it is in action, the new Jackson, Action Jackson, Concept FR24, Jackson, Jackson RR24 FRH, there we go. Randy Rhodes, 24 frets, Floyd Rose, one humbucker. That's what that means. There is a method to the madness, believe it or not. Uh, this is from the Concept series. Did I say that already? I can't remember. But anyway, the Concept series is kind of the new sort of callback, I guess. There was a Concept series in the 90s. This has really no relation to that, other than it's made in Korea, similar to the old Concept series as well. But yeah, basically, so the idea behind this is to kind of make a standard sort of import line of more custom guitars with custom specs, and some of them look like uh, very famous guitars that you might actually recognize. So this, of course, looks very similar to the Alexi Leho Stone guitar that uh, was kind of made famous on those first few Bodum albums. That being said, it's not an exact one-to-one -one replica. There are a couple of differences. Notably, basically we have a EMG 81 instead of the old school uh, Jackson Jeez, I don't even remember what it was called, like JT580 or something like that. No idea. And an EMG Afterburner, um, which as you can see, I've made uh, a slight modification to this guitar, not to the real uh, electronics or setup or anything, but I did put the EMG Afterburner on a little mini toggle just because the push pull is 
uh, yeah, it gets, gets kind of difficult, you know, butterfingers over here. But uh, we have an active pickup with an active boost, the EMG afterburner, uh, instead of the uh, J1000 preamp, which is the, you know, old school Jackson preamp that was on a lot of the custom shop guitars back in the day. Um, similar with the pickups, my 87 has a uh, same Jackson branded pickup in there. So this one, EMG 81, EMG Afterburner, one volume, Floyd Rose 1000, which sounds great and stays in tune. I've been playing this guitar for about, I don't know, about a week or so here just to, you know, kind of make sure that everything's set up and feeling good and all that kind of stuff. So Floyd Rose 1000 stays in tune, sounds great. Uh, it is top mounted, that is that is true, just like the OG Stone guitar. Uh, that one was top mounted as well. Um, but there's a nice little neck angle here so you can kind of, you know, pull up a little bit. So it's not completely uh, pull up less like, you know, a, a bridge that would be resting entirely on the uh, the top of the body. So other features of this, we got uh, stainless steel frets, which is awesome. I know a lot of you guys have been asking Jackson to do that, and they've been doing that in a lot more of the uh, import guitars. So that is pretty cool. And then we also have these nice Luminlay inlays. So for signal chain, for uh, what I'm playing right now and the demo that you just heard, I am going into my pedal board. So from the guitar, oh yes, beautiful. From the guitar into my pedal board, I have a Lichtlärm Audio Ritual pedal, which is like a souped up rat. I've done a video on that before. Uh, going into a CE5 Chorus Ensemble. From there, we're going into my PV5150, which is just off camera right up here. Old block letter from like 94-ish. And then from there, going into my Fryette Power Station, which also has an Eventide H90 in the loop, um, along with an EQ FH. And then from there, I'm actually using a real cabinet today. I'm going into my uh, JCM 800 Marshall 1960B from 1987 and miking a Vintage 30, black back Vintage 30, or a black frame? Black frame Vintage 30 with a single SM57. And that sounds like that. Just an absolute beast of a guitar. Some of my obviously favorite features about this thing, you know, it looks great. The pinstripes look freaking awesome. Um, I do actually kind of like the top mounted Floyd Rose 1000 here in gold. I got a, a D-Tuna that I've added so I can go from And uh, you know, that just fits. No extra routing or anything like that required. So that's that's awesome. Uh, and then the afterburn, afterburner, afterburn, afterburner. I should know my EMG stuff by now, right? Uh, the EMG afterburner, it does work with the active pickup with the EMG 81. And uh, I got mine, there's still a pot connected to this. I basically just took the switch off. So I have mine turned up about 50%, 45 to 50%, just to give a little bit of an extra push. Um, kind of like if you would turn on a, uh, an extra, you know, boost pedal into your, into your amp, except, you know, here it's right in the guitar. So that is, that's kind of cool. I've never used one of these before, believe it or not, but it's, uh, it's a super handy, addition. So here it is with it off. And then turn it on. As you can hear, it makes the harmonic stuff for, you know, the old whammy bar a little bit uh, easier to grab. So that's with it off with it on. 
So yeah, I think in a one pickup guitar, that's a pretty handy feature. Um, you get, you know, just kind of a little bit extra, a little bit extra boost, you know, because bridge pickups get a little bit thin, especially with the, uh, you know, the high sort of weedly weedly kind of stuff. Um, and this really just sort of makes all of the notes fit together nicely. But uh, yeah, man, that's it. It's a real, real kind of simple guitar. And, um, you know, what else can I say? Uh, you know, maple neck, alder wings, neck through, graphite reinforced truss rod, so you know it's going to stay in tune. And, um, yeah, overall, I am just, uh, you know, really, really impressed with this. It's just a uh, real kind of kind of simple shred machine that's, you know, basically made for one thing. Not a whole lot of, um, you know, there are bells and whistles, but it's really just kind of stripped down and meant to, meant to shred. So awesome guitar. If you can get your hands on one, I definitely recommend it. All right, I am Bryson Husen. Thanks for watching. I'm going to get out of here, and I hope to see you next time. What the hell is this? Pew, 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 yeah.